Tell me about Bad Moms. Then. Yeah, this is a little bit of a preview because this is actually out on Wednesday, uh, and I got to see it a little bit early on on Thursday night. Uh, and this stars Mila Kunis, and she is uh, a character called Amy, and she seems to have the perfect life. She's got a great marriage. She's got kids that are absolutely amazing and doing really well at school. Uh, she's got a fantastic home. She looks very nice. If you if you know who Mila Kunis is, she's she's a very attractive young lady. But she also plays Meg in Family Guy. She's the voice of Meg, so you mm. know, the complete opposite. Uh, and she still she still works and everything. So she's 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 doing everything in the household. So she has to get up the kids up in the morning uh, to get them you know get the breakfast, get their uh, lunch made for school, take them to school, get to work. And she seems she's getting more and more late while she's doing it. And then. There's an overbearing woman, basically, at the school, running the PTA, uh, called Gwendolyn, and uh, she's played by Christina Applegate, and she basically is driving her mad, and one day she just flips. She just says, right, I'm not doing these bake sales, I'm not doing all these extra uh, curricular activities, what, you know, you've what, what I just you know like a waste of her time and she decides to just forget it all and get the, let the kids get on with their own lives and take them out of all of these things and she gets labeled as a bad mum of one of the titles i mean i'm just happy he's circumcised <gasps> what if i get somebody who's not circumcised run out of the <laughs> room screaming it's like finding a gun in the street just scream and get out of there no way you guys uncut guys are great really Oh, they're always so nice mm. to you because they know their dicks are gross. How do I handle it? Oh, I'll do I show just you. touch it? Here. Uh-uh. Let me just kick you. Do you mind for a second? What? Just imagine for a second that this is this is the hood of the uncut cock, and then this is the penis face. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what you would do is very gently, you would just kind of try to peel it back over like that to expose the head of the cock. Oh, okay. And then you would just, just gently, you wanna, sorry, honey, you just wanna kinda, like, it gets a little tight, and you gotta kinda work it, you know, gotta work it off. And then you just go to town, like it's a, you know, ugh, you know, you jerk it off till you wanna sit on it, okay? What do I do with this? Like, do I what? put it in a hair clip, or do I just... No, 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 This, this, you can flick it, suck it, you know, rub your face that. on it. I don't it. wanna rub my face on it. Okay, well, take care of this, though. Okay. Because this is like a big, giant man clit. This, right here. If you... Work this, it's gonna be like, oh. Does that okay. make sense, Melanie? Yeah, it's great. Thank okay. you, honey. Oh, Thank sure, sure, you. sure. I'm not gonna wear this sweatshirt ever again. And to be fair, it's, it's a, a very, very male orientated look at what the thing men, uh, women are, because it's actually written and directed by two fellas. So you're thinking, you know, because these this is a 15, and these women, there's Catherine Han in there, there's Kristen Bell in there as well, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, who was, of course, w Will Smith's wife, and they swear like troopers. All they talk about is the is is men. All they talk about is how useless men are. Uh, all, you know, and all they talk about is, you know, like the little irritations, in like, but with a load of swearing. There are some funny moments, huh? it paints all the dads very negatively, so it's been like this stereotypical thing where they think you know, all women do is, is, is basically take the mickey out of their husbands, and I'm thinking, this doesn't really reflect real life, you know, I, who is this appealing to? Because I, I watched it, with it being a pre, a, a, an early preview, it's quite a full audience in there, and there wasn't that many people laughing, and quite a lot of women went to this, it's, a, it's, it's trying to be an ultimate chick flick film, but it's written by two fellas who don't seem to know what women actually <laughs> actually want to know, and I'd love to have taken my wife to, 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 to see it, but unfortunately we couldn't get a babysitter, but uh, but it just seems like a male's idea of what mums should be. So I'm only going to give this two stars. As I say, there are previews mm. of this on Wednesday. So if you are thinking of going to see it, it's one of them ones I'd wait for DVD and Blu-ray.